Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Skippy and welcome to a new video. This is just a short video, no building this time. It's just about how I create my own decals uh, and then print them. Uh, I've done it previously on uh, tissue paper uh, and also in my latest build, which is the Spitfire here, the, the two-seater. Uh, I've done it on two water slide decals. So just, this is just a quick video to show you how I've done it. Using tissue paper is uh, nice and easy. It uh, keeps the decals really nice and smooth and flat. The only thing I find is printing onto the white tissue, it's quite thin, so invariably you need to layer it up at least two layers so that you get any white showing through. Uh, and also it gives a bit of an older looking effect because the colours aren't as crisp as if you use water slide decals. To create the decals, I decide firstly what obviously markings I want to put onto the model. Uh, and then I start to design them using PowerPoint. The reason I use PowerPoint is it's a little bit more flexible with um, being able to create the shapes um, and using the colours. Um, you can either use the eyedropper if you've got a specific colour that you want from a picture on the computer or what I try to do is find out what the RGB code is for the colour that I'm going to be painting the aeroplane or uh, of the decals that were uh, in existence at the time. And I replicate that with the RGB code on the computer which I show on the screen. Even though I create the decals on PowerPoint, I don't print it um, from the PowerPoint slide because what I tend to find is it, it makes it slightly smaller, it's not the actual size. So whilst the size on the screen says it's eight centimetres diameter, for instance. When you print it, it always seems to be a bit smaller. So what I tend to do, once I've created the PowerPoint decal set, I then save them into Word format. In the Word format, um, when you print it, it's much more accurate the size. It's the size that you want, the size that I want, uh, and it's just a nice way of finishing it off. What I'm going to do now, rather than uh, go through um, showing how I create them, um, both on the tissue, such as the Mark 1 Spitfire here, uh, or on the water slide decals with the two-seater. I'll use the video clips from earlier videos where I think I pretty much explained how to do it. So I hope you find this useful. Um, please leave your likes and comments. Since my last video, I'm now up to 430 subscribers, which is amazing. That's brilliant. Thank you very much to everybody that's done that. Uh, again, if you find this useful, please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks very much. When it comes to decals, I'm not a fan of the ones that come with these kits. It's on the plastic. It's quite thick, it doesn't fit nicely over the bolster, obviously as the tissue's tightened. Also, I don't think the colours are right, they always seem to me to be a bit too bright, uh, and the yellow, not yellow enough. Um, so I make my own um, using Word, create them, I've used the similar sizes to these, but create them onto tissue paper and print them out. So, single sheet of tissue paper, that shows the blue and the red, that goes nicely over the dark colours, the white obviously lets the grey through so what I tend to do is stick two layers of tissue paper together which gives you much more or more dense white um, which seems to work better and that's what I've done on my latest kits so I've created these I'll cut them out stick them onto another piece of tissue then cut them out again then when I stick them onto the fuselage or the wings the tissue paper molds really nicely over all the wood um, and it stays on there much better and as I seal the paint afterwards, it seals the ink onto the tissue. Okay, my homemade decals, I've cut them out roughly. Um, I'm now going to use the craft mount, stick them to another piece of white tissue, um, just to give more density of white, let those dry, then I'll cut them out more accurately afterwards. For the water slide decals, I've uh, ordered this product off um, Amazon. Uh, I've used it in the past on my smaller models. Um, this one is white. Uh, the reason I've used white is because if I just use the clear, which is easier to cut out, uh, that's only really any good for black. And obviously there's white within the roundels, etc. Um, and my inkjet printer doesn't print white, so I'm having to use this one. I've already designed, uh, as I said already, designed the decals on Word printed them on paper, made sure they're approximately the right size. Well, not approximately, I made them the right size. Uh, I then printed onto the white decal paper. It's glossy paper. Uh, make sure you get the settings correct uh, and do it in the best print. This is the, the result. And when you compare it to the color of the tissue paper, you can see why I wanted to do that. It's just so much brighter and clearer. Once the ink's dry, so probably 5, 10, 15 minutes, however long you've got really, it depends how, rush, how much of a rush you're in, um, it's time to seal the ink onto the paper. So to do that, you use uh, an acrylic varnish. Um, for me, I've used the Humboldt acrylic, and this is what I also use to cover the model when it's completed. 
make sure that you give the decal paper a couple of coatings, uh, giving it nice and even all over um, the decals themselves. Uh, top tip that I learned, probably not an issue for a lot of people, but here in the UK it can be quite cold and because I'm not allowed to spray in the house when I'm using the tin spray. Um, I did this in the garage um, and it's probably below 10 degrees and as a result on some of the decals it looks a bit bubbly. I don't know if we can see that on there, probably not. Um, so what I've had to do is I've printed out a couple more, well on the other sheet, I took it into the conservatory, it was much warmer, um, sprayed in there uh, and it came out a lot smoother. Obviously once you've um, sprayed the decals, um, sealed the ink in, it's time to cut them out uh, and then this is what they look like, so nice and bright. I mean that compared to the old Spitfire, if I hold it up here, yeah, look at that for difference. So that's what I wanted. I wanted something nice and bright to go on um, the nice and bright model that I've got. One issue when cutting out uh, along the colour, um, sometimes the ink will run, so that's why you need to make sure you give it a good coat of varnish uh, and allow it a long time to dry. On the instructions for the paper, it says to give two or three millimetres around the edge. Obviously, if you do that, you've then got a white um, outline. Um, now, depending what colour you're putting these onto, that could work okay because you could actually paint, hand paint around it. Um, but I've decided I'm going to try and take it right up to the edge. It's worked in the past. Um, so now that's what I'm going to go and do. Okay, applying the decals. This is the decal that I'm going to do first on the underwing. It's going to decide exactly where it's going to go. Um, roughly there, I reckon, will be about right. Slightly smaller than the one that's going to go on top, but from what I remember, it's going to be in line with the red gun tape there. So first thing, I've got my timer for three minutes. It's recommended two and a half to three minutes to leave this to soak. Um, what you don't want to do is try and take it off early. And as you try and slide the decal off, the paper just rips or, the, or whatever else, and then you've got to reprint them and become a costly mistake at about, was it? it's just under a pound a sheet uh, at the moment. Um, so what I'm going to do now is put it in the water and let it soak for three minutes. I put it in upside down because it always curls up and I don't want any of the decal coming out of the water. Okay, it's in there and then start the timer. Hold it down just for a little bit while the paper absorbs the water and hopefully that will then activate the glue and release it underneath. I have a little towel just to dry my fingers while that's doing. So another top tip as well, whilst you're waiting for this, um, to get ready to come off the paper is it's worth wetting the surface uh, where you're going to apply it. So again, just a bit of water, not too much. You can see that the waterproofing from the paint's doing a good job. Um, so yeah, roughly that's where I want it to do. Just gives the water slide decal something to sit on so you can move it around to get it in the position that you're happy with. Um, so yeah, just do that. Okay, we'll fast forward. Okay, coming up to three minutes. <coughs> Just going to turn the decal over. Not too bad, but it feels like it's ready to come off, so that's good. So carefully take it out of the water. You want to position yourself or the slide so that you want to slide it off gently. Do you want to force it roughly in the right position, and then just slowly ease it off the backing paper. I do find the bigger the decals, the more risk there is of them tearing. If you're not careful. Slide it off nice and gently because you've got the water on, hopefully. And yeah, there you go, we can move it just, but not much. So you have to position it. So sometimes you end up putting it where it sticks. So always try and get the best line up you can. Then with a bit of paper tissue is what I use. Try and take off any excess water. Again, try not to let it stick to the decal because it may pull the decal off. And then just gently from the inside out, push the water out under the decal so that it sits nicely on the model. You can see this has worked out really well. There's been no bleeding of the colour. There's no white line around the edge and the red hasn't bled into the white either. So I've been lucky with this one or obviously I coated it correctly. So now the challenge will be to make sure that I put the other one on the other side in exactly the same place. But there we go, homemade water slide decals, uh, much brighter than the tissue ones, uh, and I think just makes it look a lot better. So there we go, one nicely applied water slide decal, much brighter than the tissue paper, 
Uh, and as I say, I think I was lucky on that one. I do find the bigger the decal, uh, the more risk there is of it tearing when applying it. But that's gone on really nicely. Just trying to see you can see that. Oh, the camera's trying to follow me. Um, but there you go. I'm really happy with that. So now I need to get on and do the other side and then apply all the other decals. Hopefully they'll all go on as neat as that. Just while the, just while the next decal is soaking, uh, obviously I've made some progress, um, looking good. Um, on here, obviously I can't always work out the right colour because I can't print these small bits uh, in white. I've had to do it with the background. So I use the RGB colour for the olive green and the grey um, and try and match it as close as possible. But as you can tell, there is some slight difference. Same on the grey on the other side. And also I mentioned earlier that sometimes you get the white line. So what I'm going to have to do on these two decals, so this one on the other side, is using the actual paint and a brush. I'll just go round them and try and cover up as much of the, uh, the incorrect green and just try and blend it in a little bit more. It won't be perfect, but uh, it should be better. Um, again, interestingly with the black, for some reason, uh, I've got a slight red outline uh, on both of these decals, which is slightly annoying, but from a distance you can't really tell. So uh, happy days, um, but that looks okay. Um, so yeah, there we go.